ladies. Uh, so as promised, there's a part two to um, really healthy low carb dinners slash you can add carbs for your family. Really just quick, easy meals. I want to give you two examples with uh, um, low cost. Um, I get these from Costco. You get four and a thing, 19 bucks. I mean, you can make so much with ground turkey. It's extra lean, super healthy, super clean, um, and you can sneak tons of vegetables. So tonight, uh, yesterday I made those Greek turkey meatballs, but they turned to burgers, because uh, you know, that's the home life, right? That's just sometimes the busy life as, as women. So we have to improvise and make huge burgers instead of meatballs. Um, so tonight I am gonna be doing spaghetti and I love spaghetti because in my sauce I add so many vegetables and I know what you're thinking, my kids don't eat the vegetables. Well, I cut them so tiny that my kids don't even notice but it's so full of fiber and we can eat them. So I'll be eating mine with um, spiraled zucchini for like a pasta substitute as well as a little bit of pasta because it is my high carb day. But I'll show you how I kind of add volume so it's like I'm still kind of getting that pasta, that comfort food, um, but I'm not getting all of the high amounts of carbs and calories um, late at night. So um, I've got here, I'll show you guys. Hey guys, I'm gonna be making a salad. I've got some spring mix. I'll serve our spaghetti with some salad, some tomatoes, cucumbers. Um, so what I put in my spaghetti sauce is I'm using this today. I know it's probably not the best, but it's uh, Florentine spinach and cheese. So I'll put two of these in there um, in the thing. Uh, I'll cook the ground turkey. I've got mushrooms. I've got a big, huge purple onion. Um, I've got a pepper. And I've got zucchini, I'm missing something. Oh, and tomatoes, which, oh, please tell me I have tomatoes, yes. So I use, oh, I already get the diced tomatoes, so I'll put those in, and I like garlic and olive oil. Probably put two things, because I like lots of sauce. So, oh, and garlic, my garlic's in there. Have to add lots of garlic, so that is all the vegetables. That I'll add in and I will add even zucchini tiny uh, I'll probably shred it or um, like grate it in there so the girls can't taste it but it's in there and that is everything that I add. so um, that's what I'll be making tonight so I'm gonna show you guys um, I'll show you guys when it's done and again this is something you'll make so much that you'll have enough for lunch tomorrow um, it's so healthy so full of fiber um, I try to pick a lot of meals where I can load lots of veggies in where it's not like you're having to eat tons of salad or tons of raw vegetables because unless you're that type of person I don't really like vegetables unless they're like cooked in a sauce or something like that and I like my kids to eat vegetables and kids don't really like vegetables that much so this is a perfect meal that your family will love that's fast quick and easy if I would stop talking and start cooking it would be a lot faster so I'll show you guys when I'm done and I'll tell you how long it takes me to cook it. Mmm, the dinner smells good. <laughs> what is it? Spaghetti. I love it. Yeah. It's going to be so good. How was your day? Good. Good. Poppy's excited to see you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So um, it's everything cook in there. Another thing I wanted to mention to you, you don't have to use to as much meat as I used. If it's just you and your hubby, your kids aren't there or you don't have kids, you can just make what is um, what is necessary for you. So when I post the recipes, I probably won't put how much of everything. That's just dependent on how much that you need for your family, how much you want to need. I honestly, I don't measure. <laughs> I never have. Um, I just kind of throw everything in, I add tons of veggies, I cut them tiny, as you guys can see, everything is super tiny. Um, I use graters for everything, graters for my garlic, I use graters for zucchini, just cheese graters, it makes everything faster, makes everything tiny. Um, the only thing I chopped was the onions and the mushrooms, and the mushrooms are already half chopped, and I just took a knife and I made them really tiny. Um, another thing too is if you did this in the morning, 
you could throw it in the crock pot. So um, when you get home that night, all you have to do is throw on the pasta for your kids and your hubby, and then um, spiral your zucchini or even just grate it and serve it on top of, of that. So I'll show you guys once it's all done. Um, I will be having salad with it. Um, again, you can never eat too much vegetables. They're so full of fiber, so full of vitamins. Um, they detox you. They're just so good for you. So anytime you can get your veggies in, do it. Um, all right, ladies. See you when everything's okay, ready. So um, I use this. It's just a hand spiraler from Bed Bath & Beyond. It was like 20 bucks. Um, but it's super easy when I'm making a meal just for me because the girls and Adam will need um, zucchini pasta, unfortunately. Um, and just a tip with zucchini pasta, you don't even need to heat it because the sauce heats it because overcooked zucchini is like mush. So I don't even heat it, that's just cold zucchini. And then when I put the sauce on top of it, it the steam, um, itchy ear, the steam cooks it. So that's another tip. And um, I'm putting pasta on for the girls and my husband. And then uh, we've got this nice big salad which again, I had those mushrooms that were already pre-done, didn't have to cut them. I just put cherry tomatoes whole and uh, a nice spring mix. So we'll have that salad with uh, spaghetti. And another thing that I wanted to kind of chirp in here um, a little bit is, I know I've heard this lots from moms and I used to feel this way too. You know, my kids don't eat this. My kids won't eat vegetables. The thing is, is we teach our kids how to have the right taste buds. Just like when we eat too much sugar, we start craving sugar. The more healthy food they eat, they'll start having taste buds for it, for that healthy food. And it does take some time and it does take consistency on our part. We are the parents, we are supposed to lead them into healthy. It's not gonna be perfect in the beginning, but you have to start somewhere. And it's our job to teach them how to have healthy taste buds. But eventually it becomes a routine and my girls still eat ice cream and candy and I do too, but I try to implement, um, you know, vegetables into their diet as much as I can, even if it's just a little bit and I say, you know, just eat a little bit, we have to be the ones to um, teach them their taste buds and try to retrain those taste buds because the more healthy food you eat, the more healthy food you crave, just the opposite is with sugar too. So um, that is my tip for you moms. Um, yeah, I will show you the food when so it's another done. thing too mom So it makes this uh, meal really great and just inexpensive and you can get so many meals out of it is um, Making lots like this you can freeze it and then those nights that you don't <laughs> Seriously, that's what I mean and those nights that you don't have time to cook you can just pull it out of the freezer um Another thing about spaghetti sauce is it's pretty close to chili. It's just the spices. So you can, um, yes. Um, 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 Tina was showing me her ballerina dance and she fell down two okay. times. Okay. And then she went to the clothes. Yeah, well, then you guys shouldn't said, be playing together. This is the worst, I'm the worst ballerina ever. Well, you're not. Okay, be kind no, to one another. I'm not Tina said that. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, so what you could do with the spaghetti sauce too is if you're getting bored, you don't want to eat spaghetti, add some beans to it. Um, add some chili powders and make it into a chili. Like super easy. So what if you have some Italian seasoning? It's just gonna taste so good. Um, you can get two meals out of it in two nights. Inexpensive, super healthy, super full of fiber. And um, yeah, that's another thing that you can use that ground, lean ground turkey for. It's amazing, it's from Costco. It's True Roots, it's gluten free. Um, it's made with organic brown rice, quinoa, armorath, and corn. It's not GMO as well. Um, it's amazing. It tastes amazing. You just when you cook it, you have to rinse it off after it's cooked to get the slime off, but it tastes so good. My girls love it too. That's it, you guys. Like I said, I just put a little bit of pasta on it, three scoops of sauce, which is about three quarters of a cup of meat sauce, and then it looks like lots of volume because I have that um, zucchini, um, that zucchini in there. And that is it, and the girls are eating, and we have a salad, and one kid is lying on the floor not listening, and that is dinner time for us. What about you? <laughs> you are in your birthday suit for dinner.
Because he's a boobies. Are you trying to show me your muscles? No. Are you sure? Is that why you're flexing your bicep? Are you trying to flex your bicep while you drink your water? No. I don't care if you're flopping. Smile.